Greetings from the Richland Hills Public Library. I'm Miranda, the Youth Librarian, and today I am going to teach you how to make bubble snakes. They are so much fun, they are super easy, um, and they're a great backyard activity um, that you, anybody can do. All right, so for this project, you're gonna need some water. You're gonna need some dish detergent of some kind. Um, you're gonna need a bottle of some kind. Um, a rag, preferably one that you can cut up um, but if you don't want to cut it up, you don't have to. It's just easier if you're able to. Um, a rubber band, or I actually have a hair tie here that we're going to use some scissors, and then some sort of container for your water and bubble mixture. All right, so we're going to get some water poured in here. <gasps> Whoa, <laughs> unstable. Um, then put in some dish detergent. And I didn't bring anything out with me to mix it with, so we're just going to go like that. Get it all kind of mixed up. You can see I have a special helper here today. Miss Rosie is very curious about what we're doing. Okay, let's see if that's enough. All right, so first things first is you're going to cut the end off of your bottle. Um, you definitely want to get a parent to help you with this part, and I probably should have gotten it started a little bit before starting the video, but we'll be okay. There we go. Once you've got one little cut, then it's super easy to just kind of cut around the edges. Doesn't have to be perfect by any means. There we go. Then... We are going to cut off a piece of our rag and it needs to be a piece big enough to go around the bottom of our bottle. So we're just gonna see my bottle is pretty thin so we don't need much. And then the rag goes over your bottle like this. And then you take your rubber band or your hair tie or whatever else it is you've got, like so. And then you just dip it into your bubble solution. Hopefully, you know what, let me put in a little bit more. Usually I use Dawn dish detergent for this because Dawn makes really great bubbles. Um, but we didn't have any of that, so. I just want to make sure that we really have enough soap in our mixture here. Okay, and you're gonna dip it in this part. And here is the most important thing to remember about this project. Don't inhale. <laughs> All right, so once you've got your bubble mixture on there, you just take a deep breath and you blow. You get a lovely bubble snake, scented like lemons. <laughs> um, again, before you inhale for a second time, make sure that your mouth is very far away from the lip of your bottle. Otherwise, you will inhale a lovely mouthful of soap water and it does not taste good. Um, so this is lots of fun that you can have. You can even put uh, food coloring in your bubble mixture to have different colored bubbles come out. Um, you can try it with different, uh, different amounts of soap in your water to see if it makes different kinds of bubble snakes. If there's more soap, does it make a longer bubble snake maybe? Different I don't know, that's something to test out. Different. I'm sorry, my camera person is talking to me again and... Different fabrics. You can say it out loud. What about different fabrics? Oh yes, you can definitely try different fabrics. Um, for what I've discovered for me is that rags work the best, um, but you can definitely try it with whatever fabric you have at home and see what, what kind of difference it makes in the kind of bubbles that form. So there you go. There is our science project for the day. Ooh, it needs some more bubble mixture. Thank you for joining us. I hope you have fun making your own bubble snakes. <laughs>